Hey everybody, uh, today I just want to talk quickly about how it is to be in America, how it is to have citizenship, and how it is to not have citizenship, and the pros and cons to each of those. So the first one is being an American citizen. Having a citizenship gives you a lot of privileges and benefits. But at the same time, all those good things could also be a curse. And this curse is staying at a job and working at the job just because it's comfortable. And it doesn't really push you to be better or think of ways that you can make your life more interesting. I mean, you could, but it's too comfortable to make changes. It's too comfortable to uh, reach outside of your comfort zone. So with that being said, take note of this curse. And I'm referring to like, let's say you wanna start a business. It's much easier to just be an employee and that's the curse. Now let's look at an undocumented individual. They come to this country voluntarily and know that they will be undocumented. And they know that their chances in America as an undocumented individual are greater than their chances back in their own country where they where they could just be an employee yeah you have you know undocumented individuals that come here to just be employees but those that do not those very few that do not they find ways to start a business because they're forced to be in this uncomfortable situation. They're forced to reach out of their comfort zone and start a business. And that builds discipline, that builds character, that develops this person into a completely different being, mentally strong, mentally mature, with much wisdom, with a very difficult life, being that they are at a huge disadvantage, but they are not cursed. I mean, you can say that they're cursed without a citizenship, but it's also could be a blessing and it could be an opportunity. And I hope, you know, that they do see it as an opportunity and most have seen it as an opportunity to start a little tiny business selling fruit, selling ice cream, starting off small, right? And they try and try different th things. And eventually, for some it clicks if they keep going and going. And, you know, lucky for them, they don't have to be an employee they could be a business owner and the benefit of being a business owner is that you have to be on your toes and think and think and think and this builds mental fortitude makes you a strong independent person and if you stick if they stick to it they might hit it big by having a business like a restaurant that a lot of people like and they themselves could hire people contractors whatever you want I, once you're an employer don't quote me on this but I don't think you need a social you just gotta make the uh, as an employer you start a company the company is the one providing source of income for other employees and 
I think that's the wonderful thing about this country and the people that come here undocumented knowing that they can give it a go and take their chances and see if something comes about I'm not saying all of them make it but it's interesting how your circumstances could curse you or bless you depending on how you approach it it can go both ways for me I'm a citizen and I'm watching myself get comfortable in a job even though it doesn't pay well but it's still a job it's comfortable I mean it I don't do nothing but show up and work right I didn't start the business from scratch that's the difficult part if I wanted to just thinking about it makes me scared and but I know it's rewarding so I know one day I'll have to jump and take a leap of faith and try it out myself but I just wanted y'all get to get thinking and realize you know the two sides of the story one with documents and one without and the pros and the cons to each that's it for this video hope you like it subscribe to it and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.